how do you get support out where you need support when you have a very limited infrastructure? So not a very robust rail system, not a robust road system, uh, not a robust transportation system. And so if you want to support the people of the nation, including the military and the police that are out amongst the people in the nation, then you have to have a mechanism to do that. And you take the tenants that I just described and you quickly realize I need an Air Force. I need something I can control directly as a government to move people to a natural disaster area, just like we did this last winter, to move supplies to an area that is remote, that, that doesn't have medical care, that doesn't have a grocery store you can run across the street and get you know, food and water at the drop of a hat. And so you have to build a, an Air Force to do that. And so the, the aviation recapitalization plan that is put forth and supported by the U.S. and our NATO partners is bringing additional assets, rotary wing assets in particular, to do and describe to solve the problem I just outlined. And so over years, we've been supporting that same problem set with MI-17s and they're beginning to uh, be used beyond their life. And so we have a fleet of 28 or so now and between combat loss and using those aircraft to their maximum extent, then they'll, they will go to zero. So they'll continue to go to zero. We, we can't allow that to happen in a nation that is decentralized, graphically separated with with limited infrastructure. We, we also can't support in the long run the MI-17 aircraft uh, because it's old, parts are hard to find, and, and there are other political concerns associated with that. And so the Army put forth the plan to buy and to bring U-860s uh, to Afghanistan, to the Afghanistan Air Force. And so we're going to bring over here uh, U-860 Alpha Model Blackhawks that you see flying around here today with the U.S. forces. And we're gonna teach them and train them how to fly them here in Kandahar. We're, we're gonna bring the aircraft, we're gonna bring trainers, we're gonna train them right here in their own country. And then we're gonna start replacing and backfilling the MI-17. So as they begin to degrade and their life expires, they get combat losses, then we'll fill the UH-60s. And over time, we'll actually produce a stronger Air Force with more platforms to fulfill the mission in a decentralized, low infrastructure, limited infrastructure nation.